Hello Calculus Kids, this is Mr. Bean, and today we're going to talk about differentiability and what that weird word means because we're going to use it throughout the rest of the year and you got to make sure you understand what they're talking about. So to start us off, let's first look at this little graph I have here and please write down on line number one, just pause this video and write down what you think the equation is. Okay, I'm going to have my answer appear in a second, but you please write down your thoughts on what this equation is. Just write out the equation, line number one. Most of you probably would have written this, 2x plus 1 with a y-intercept at 1 and then a slope of 2. But some of you might have been thinking, well, uh, Mr. Bean, you didn't tell us what the scale is. You see here, there's no numbers written. So let me give you the scale. Haha. <laughs> so now that you see some numbers written on line number 2, I want you to write what the equation would be now that you can see what the scale is. Pause the video. This is the most likely answer that most of you would have come up with, with a 0.001 y-intercept, and then the slope is still up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Now what I'm going to show you is that neither of these answers are right because we're zoomed in too close to the equation. So what I have here is I have the same thing. I'm going to zoom out on this graph so you can see a little bit more of what's going on. So as I zoom out, you can see the scale uh, there. It's getting smaller and smaller. Now it still looks like a line. It still looks like a straight line. Although now we're so far zoomed out that it looks like it goes through the origin, but it doesn't. We saw that it went to 0 0.001. And as you continue to zoom out, you can see, oh, now it's starting to curve. What is this thing? It is some type of sinusoid. It's a trig function. Okay, so when you zoom in really, really close like this, it looks like it's just a straight line. But when you take further out and look at what a graph is, it might have lots and lots of curves to it, but you don't know that because you're zoomed in too close. Okay, so the actual equation for this one is that sine of 2x plus 0 0.001. Now the whole point of showing you that is to demonstrate that even if a graph has curves to it, if you zoom in close, so if I were to take that point right there and just zoom in really close to that maximum point, you can see the closer you get, the more a line it's going to look like. Ooh. So even though we're at a we're we're at or very close to a maximum, you get very close to it and it looks just like a flat line. Okay, that is very closely related to differentiability. In other words, can you take the derivative? which is really what that word means. Differentiability means you're just allowed to take the derivative. The derivative exists for that function. So the derivative exists for each point in the domain. The graph must be a smooth line or curve for the derivative to exist. In other words, the graph looks like a line if you zoom in. Okay, that's what we just did. Now, I'm, I put here in parentheses local linearity. That's the idea of locally, it looks like a line. If you zoom in really close, it is a line. It's called local linearity. So. Where are the places where the derivative does not exist? All right, so the first one is if there is a discontinuity. So what I mean by that is if you have some graph with a hole in it and then it continues on, that right there at that point, there's no derivative. If there's no graph, there's no derivative. If you zoom in on this place really, really close, it's not going to be a straight line. It's going to be a gap. Or another one would just be you know some type of jump discontinuity. Uh, it's still a discontinuity. But if you have something like that, again, there's no derivative there. The derivative does not exist because if you zoom in there, obviously there's not a line. The whole graph just skips. All right, so that's the first most easiest and obvious place where the derivative does not exist. The next one is something called a corner or a cusp. So for example, if you have some type of graph that looks like this, and it goes off forever to the left and right, right there where it's coming together, that's called a cusp. So some type of sharp corner it would make the derivative not exist. It fails to exist because, think about this, if you zoom in on that point right there, zoom in really, really, really close, it's still going to be a sharp corner. It will never flatten out and have local linearity. Therefore, the derivative can't exist. And then the last one we have to worry about is something called a vertical tangent line. So this is a vertical tangent. If you have a graph like this, it's coming up here, and then it goes up like that, and then this way. So I kind of, uh, I over-exaggerated the verticalness of this graph, but I just wanted to make the point that right there at that point, if you took the tangent line, the tangent line would be straight up and down, 
And so right there at that one single point, the derivative fails to exist because the slope, think about that. If you have a straight up and down line, what is the slope of that? The slope is no slope. The slope is undefined of a vertical line. And that's why a vertical tangent line would have undefined slope, therefore undefined derivative. Okay, so basically that's it. We're just gonna practice this a little bit and show you how to do this. This will be a pretty quick, easy packet and lesson. So let's just identify the points where it's not continuous or it's not differentiable. <clears throat> so here's the first point, x equals negative three. So x equals negative three is not continuous. I'm going to abbreviate here, is not continuous. Now, it also means it's not differentiable. If it's not continuous, it's also not differentiable, but we're going to assume that we understand that by just saying it's not continuous. Right here, it's continuous, but it's not differentiable. So we're going to say at x equals negative two, it is not differentiable. I'm going to abbreviate this just for the sake of our notes, not differentiable. As we follow along here, I've got a dot there. I don't know why I put that there. That's like nothing. And then we continue on until we get here to another corner. So we have a corner here or a cusp. And so we'd say at x equals two, it is also not differentiable. So the graph is continuous there. It's just not differentiable there. And we continue on, we get to x equals four. There's a jump discontinuity. So we say that it is not continuous. And if it's not continuous, it's also not differentiable. So every one of these, it's not differentiable. But at negative two and positive two, it's not differentiable, but still continuous. Okay, and then that leads us to a true or false question. Differentiability implies that the function is continuous. If something is differentiable, it is continuous. True or false? And then answer this. Continuity. If something is continuous, it implies that it is differenti differentiable. True or false? The first one, differentiability implies continuity. That is true. If it's, con if it's differentiable, that means it's a nice, smooth curve of some sort. That's what differentiability means. If you zoom in, it's a straight line. Therefore, it has to be continuous. Continuity implies differentiability. That's false. And an example would just be if you have some type of corner. If you have a corner at all, like an absolute value graph, if you have an absolute value graph, that's continuous, but it's not differentiable. Now, there's some other ways we're going to use to check differentiability that is more algebraic with the rules of calculus, but we're not going to do that yet in this lesson because we haven't learned the shortcuts. Starting in our very next lesson and for the rest of this unit, we're going to learn lots and lots of shortcuts that will help you take the derivatives quickly and we'll then use that and come back to this lesson with differentiability. But for now, this should be qu pr pretty quick and easy, so rock that mastery check and I'll see you back in the next one. We will do the power rule.